Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is your girl Jay Simone and today I'll be doing a video on how to install and style clip-ins that are affordable. So if you like my hair, continue watching. Right, so let's just go ahead and get started. I already braided my hair in the back. I think that's the best thing to do when doing clippings so the clippings won't like pull your real hair. So I like to braid it in the back. Let me show you guys. Don't talk about my braids, okay? I don't know how to braid, but I get a job done. So I already braided it in the back. And I'm just gonna pin it up. I kind of already know what kind of style I want. Since the front of my hair doesn't curl as good as the back, the curl pattern in the front is off child. So that's why I'm gonna braid it. So I already parted it up here to get that little side braid look. And here is my leave out right here. So this is a piece and then back here is a piece as well. So we're just going ahead and get started. I already put products in this part and this part. I just have to do this part. So we're going to go ahead and open the clippings. The brand is called Big Beautiful Hair Clippings. It's a nine piece. I got this from my local beauty supply store and it was $30.00. But I had some recently, not recently, but I had some before that was $19.99 that you could get online. So um, I'll just put that link in the comment section. If you don't want to pay $30 or if your local beauty supply store don't have clip-ins, you can go online. It's $20 plus shipping. If you want to start off, then I'll recommend that because that's what I started off with. But it comes with nine pieces and I'm just going to open it. So I got the clippings all open. The longest piece is a 12 inch welt. And it looks like this. This one right here is 10 inch. I think I'm gonna start with 10 inch, but let me just measure it out and see. I don't know, that little bit too long. Just measure it. If you don't quite know, the best thing to do is measure it before you clip it in. Yeah, I think this will work. This is the eight inch. So I'm just gonna put this on the back first and then work my up, work my weight up to the longer inch whoops. And that is it. So that is the first one. Now I'm gonna do the same thing. Measure, measure, measure. This one is the 10 inch one. So I'm going with the 10 inch. Now I'm gonna use the 12 inch welt. This has only been three clips. I'm gonna add one more clip to this part right here and then start taking this piece out. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and take this out to match it, to blend it in. Let me put some water on it. Ooh, that thing came out. Hold on, y'all. It's probably one thing about these cheap ones. They might unclip, but it's okay. And I'm just gonna put it behind my ear like that for now. Then we're gonna go to the back section. I didn't put any um, products on this part yet, so I'm gonna have to do that. So as you can see, this 4A hair doesn't blend with my 3C hair, but I'm gonna make it work. So just bear with me, y'all. So now with this part, I'm just gonna braid it and then just tease the remaining hair that I have left out in 
think I'm gonna just gonna go ahead and use all three of these remaining whelps to just fill it out. I think it's trying to come together, y'all. With this wrong girl pattern I got. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and braid it, y'all. Honestly, can't see nothing. This is a new setup for me. New camera, new setup. If you've been watching my videos, you know I'm always in the bathroom, so this is new to me. You know what, I'm gonna start this over and add one of these in it. I think that'll be a good idea. Okay guys, so I'm gonna add this last clip to this part of my head and then I'm just gonna tease it and that'll be it for your girl. All right, so now we're gonna do some edges. I don't know if that's my hair or it is. <laughs> okay y'all so i just put some perm rods in it so i can get my hair to blend in with these clip-ins i'm gonna use my little blow dryer blow dryer for maybe about 10 to 15 minutes and then i'm gonna come back and show you the finished result finally i blow dry my hair hopefully it's all blow dry because if it's not we just gonna make it do what it do so let's just go ahead and take the perm rods out They look good, y'all. See, this is what I should have did from the beginning. Look at it. Boing. This one is also still a little bit, but it's okay. It is okay. Oh, this one a little bit too. As long as I got the form is all right we're gonna make you do it all right so that is pretty much it it was quick i was struggling a little bit trying to get my leave out to work but i found the perfect method the perm rod so i'm just going to stick with that as far as the clip-ins they're easy to do of course they're going to get tangled they're cheap but the real expensive ones they're going to be more manageable as far as tangle it and wash it so i would suggest using these ones first and then trying out the other ones to see if you like clip-ins i love clip-ins so i will be doing a video on some more expensive clip-ins from I'm not sure what brand yet but 
we're gonna get it popping. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do that. And I will see you guys on the next video. My heart is sad. Hello. Yo.